Okay, uh, I did run into some people, apparently. Um, there was a small campfire, as you can see. And I decided that, hey, I'm going to take a look and see what that is. But apparently, apparently these people don't want me around. Which is fine by me. Let's see if I can actually fire one of these fireballs at this person. Apparently they are now both aggroed. They seem to seem to be having some some trouble. Well, this person having less trouble than uh, the other one, but they're both having a little bit of trouble. Well, that did some damage, which which is very positive. Yeah, the even though the AI has maybe been improved upon a little bit from uh, you know just Morrowind. Maybe. I, I feel like they've had some improvements. At least I remember the OpenMW blog post having some talk about the AI combat uh, improvements or something like that. Okay, well, um, I did some damage, but uh, do I want to drink a... I, I, can, I, I really don't want to drink one of these, but I think I'm going to. Because this is a very safe way to do combat. Because these people don't seem to be fighting back too much. Also, this is a very good way for me to train uh, my destruction skill. So I think I'm just going to keep spamming my um, fireball at this person until he is dead. This is probably the most anticlimactic battle, but I, I do appreciate the fact that these people seem to just let me kill them. And you you can just wait right there below the bridge like a like the troll you are while your while your friend just dies to endless amounts of fireballs. I mean good practice is good practice. So I feel like um, Yep, there we go. So now it's your turn. But the question is, how do we want to play this? I think uh, one way to do this would be to stand up on this rock. Let me live. Let you live? What do you mean? Let me live. You seem to be having some trouble. All oh, right, I think uh, I think this is actually the AI uh, combat routine is kicking in. He realizes that he cannot actually um, get to me, so he decides to run away. Okay, I've wasted enough. Uh, I wasted enough. Uh, uh, I think this is th this counts as a as a dungeon. I've wasted enough uh, restore uh, magic potions on you, so um, or magica. Come back and fight me. So I think it's time we we fight hand to hand. Yeah, you don't seem particularly tough, and that also gets me a long blade increase or skill in increase. Yes, very good. And neither of you actually had anything more that interesting. Hopefully your, uh, your camp is more interesting than you were. Yeah, these guys just had a camp right here. They, oh, well, they had some gold. I suppose that's, uh, that's something. And apparently they were drinking. But they, they really didn't want another person to drink their alcohol, I guess. Anyway, uh, we're still some ways to Alt Velothi because I decided to do this sli uh, slight detour here. I could have just completely avoided this battle, but I decided that hey, I, I'm going to I'm going to fight these people anyway, or at least explore their camp a little bit, and that got them very angry. Also, uh, I feel like I'm going to. It's getting a little bit late here, so uh, I'm going to wait until like the morning. So uh, yeah, that way it's a little bit more fun to travel. But yeah, I'm I'm going to continue my uh, on my way and. Um, I'll see you when something interesting happens. Okay, I think I've actually stumbled upon our desired location. Those uh, buildings in the distance, they look very Dwemer-like. 
Also, there is a, a dungeon, I'm guessing, right here. Yeah, this is an ancestral tomb. So, uh, we're going to explore this first. But after we've explored this ancestral tomb, we're just going to make our way to that uh, that building complex right there, the Dwemer ruins. But yeah, let's uh, let's look inside the tomb and let's see what we might find. Once again, this is probably going to be infested with you know ghosts and whatnot. So uh, I I don't believe this is going to become uh, too difficult for us. Let me just quickly take a look at the local map. So uh, that looks very interesting. That's probably some interesting place to check out. But uh, first, let's go in here. Actually, it's a rat. Okay, the rat is dead. That's very good. And it was actually a blighted rat. Hopefully, I didn't catch anything from that. I didn't. Good, good, good. Blighted rats are always fun. Because you can actually, I believe, catch a blight from that. There's an Imperial short sword and an iron spear here. Uh, 30 by 9. I'm not sure if that's actually... I, I, considering how rich I am, I don't see a reason to actually carry that. Yeah, you, I, th I believe you can catch a... Uh, a, you can catch blight from uh, from uh, like a blighted rat. Um, that's not fun. Diseases in general in uh, Morrowind not fun. They weren't fun in uh, Arena either. Daggerfall probably had them too. Okay, they, they, there are some people around here. They are probably not friendly, but for some reason they didn't notice me. I'm going to save here. Let's hope that these people don't uh, become too big of a nuisance. Can't you see me or...? It, what is... Do you have an issue here? I'm guessing... Oh, you guys don't actually... You're not... Uh, they're not actually uh, hostile. So just a whole bunch of people in uh, Dwemer Ruin. Poison Song, Common Pants, Small Chest. So uh, I'm guessing uh, uh, none of this stuff is actually of any use. Okay, well that uh, that's surprising. This is actually a uh, an ancestral tomb where uh, there are just random people in here. Maybe they have some sort of ritual that they're doing. I'm not going to interfere with their affairs if they are not going to interfere in mine. So uh, let's find our way up to that building then, because uh, this is I'm pretty sure. Because I mean, if you look at the map here, I am to the west of Old Velothi, and this is sort of I, I decided to. Uh, Instead of going directly to Old Velothi, I decided that uh, I'm going to uh, walk along the coast a little bit, and that got me here. I'm definitely going to take the bridge. I don't, I'm not sure if there is going to be like a back entrance to this area, so uh, it's probably best if... Did something just fall? So this might be a little bit dangerous. Um, I'm just going to save on, save on stupidity. Because this might very well, very well get me killed if I'm not careful. Oh, surprisingly enough, I didn't die from that. I've died from that a couple of times. Or a similar thing, I'm not necessarily just that reg. Sinet Valin. Hello there, I was hoping a handsome young gentleman like yourself would happen uh, would happen by. Might you, take a, um, make, might you take a moment to help a lady in distress? Sure. Well, I dropped my ring and I can't seem to find it. It must have rolled down into this pool here, but I can't go in to get it because I'm expected in Ignisus shortly. You see, I'm a private dancer and I can't very well smell like icky muck water, no, can I? 
Would you, would you please get it for me? The water is not very deep and I'd be very grateful and in your debt. Well, it's, uh, it's my pleasure. Oh, thank you. When I finish dancing this evening, perhaps we can get together and discuss your reward. What does this happen with every game that I play? Sure, let's, uh, let's go help this person out. So, apparently somewhere in here there is... Uh, a ring. Oh, I just gotta find it somehow. Which might be a problem because, uh... You know, finding just a random item in a pool of water. There it is. I just got to no. There we go. D goes unpunished outlander. Oh, f holy. What? What? Okay, what? What? I'm on your side. I'm on your side. Okay, what the what 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 just happened? Okay, come here, you ghostly thing. I'm guessing this was a, like a trap of some sort. Just... Here's some magic for you. Because my... Ah, fell casting the spell. Yeah, because I have way too little uh, fatigue. Well, I'm going to start uh, slapping you with my sword again. Okay, what it what what was this all about? What was this all about? Also, I would like to point. Okay, so that was just chameleon. A whole bunch of chitin stuff and iron long sword. But this person said that she was on my side. So was she, was she was 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 she like a? Uh, not sure what this was all about. I think this person might have actually... This might have been just a trap, you know. Yeah, I, I'm going to make a guess that this was just a trap because none of them... Like, I mean... It, 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 there were signs that this person was being, like, controlled. And I'm not, like, entirely sure why... Why uh, I had to, uh, you know, go in here for this. Also, why do I have a... Oh, I have the skull of... Levu... Levul Andrano. Huh. But, I mean... This person has, like, Viper Stars and... Uh, a Dire Viper Blade. Which is a Poison... Short Blade. So was this... Was this some sort of an attempt to just rob me of all of my possessions? Yep. I, I can't, uh, well, I'm not going to reload and try to figure out what this was all about. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm just going to go along with what happened here. This is how the cookie crumbled, and um, yeah, I basically had to defend myself. Do I want this? I think I have a better one. Nordic board sword is actually better. Hmm, well that was interesting. Um... I think what I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to rest until I'm fully healed. Oh. Stupid rat, obviously. Also, I have contracted uh, with Bane. Because this is a deceased rat. So what does this give me? Agility, ten, 10 points. I think this is, um, this is a regular disease, isn't this? Uh, I think I have something for that. Something, something, something. That's a blight, that's a common. I think this is a common disease. Yep, it's a common disease. So that took care of that. And this is why you need to carry, you know, um, your restore, well, uh, cure disease potions, like cure, cure blight, cure uh, common disease. 
So blight disease is just blight is uh, like a more complex, more more uh, difficult to treat disease. Uh, just a common disease like that, fairly easy. It requires just the common uh, cure disease yeah, or cure common disease potion, whereas a blight requires the cure blight disease. Okay, well, that looks very interesting. So let's go into this place, let's uh, go look for that uh, Dwemer tube, and uh, everything uh, everything will be fine, I'm going to guess. Um, I'm going to also look online for the for that uh, encounter. Just uh, just in uh, well, I'm not going to do that now, but I'm going to look for that encounter uh, online later, so that I can you know figure out what uh, what that encounter was all about. But I'm going to guess that it was a trap, and uh, they tried to look like you know tried to get my money. Luckily. It didn't turn out that well for them. They both died, and I got their money, which is, uh, in my opinion, the better, you know, better turn of events. Anyway, so we're going to look. We're going to encounter many of these kinds of uh, ruins, cause uh, yeah, like I said, the Aldruin major skill leader person really likes these, and these are actually somewhat interesting at times. Also. I don't want more of the... Uh, I don't want more uh, disease. So I'm just going to... Oh, that was just a normal rat. That doesn't even matter. I wouldn't have gotten any kind of blight or... I don't think regular rats have any kind of diseases. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure where the entrance to this place is, but I'm going to... Up yeah, I, I don't I'm not interested in fighting you at the moment. But if I have to, I will. There we go. Now you were you were stabbed to death. Stupid Cliff Racer. Okay, let's go look for an entrance into this place so that we can get that tube and get out. Because I'm pretty sure this is what we're actually looking for. Okay, that's the door. That's the door right here. Yeah, this is most definitely the place we're looking for. So let's save, because this is most definitely a dungeon. And Wimmer areas actually do have uh, some nasty stuff in them. So I'm, I'm just going to switch to my Spark Sword for a moment. And I'm, I actually need to have Fire Bite, because Fire Bite is actually more uh, destructive. Oh! Okay. Okay, uh, there is something happening there. Ah, stupid. Um, if you're going to fight me, I'm, then I'm going to fight you as well. I'm guessing that wasn't all. No, no, it most definitely wasn't. They are uh, they're a little bit stuck there, I think. It's a little bit difficult to see because the uh, lighting in here isn't particularly great. Uh, I have Night Eye, but I don't think I can cast that. How much... Uh, what, what is... Uh, I have three Magicka, yeah, I don't have enough to cast that. Mm. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to quickly exit, and then I'm going to rest until fully healed. And that way I have a little bit more magicka, so that I can, you know, do more stuff here. So one thing I'm going to cast is I'm actually going to cast uh, Night Eye, if I can. Yeah, I'm not going to waste any more of that stuff of that. Uh, okay, let's see what a Shock Ball does. Did that do anything? Apparently, apparently you're still being a little bit annoying. Yeah, that was a Dwarven Spectre. 
They, they, they do cast uh, spells as well. And this here is... Uh, is a spider bot or something like that. Centurion spider. So this is the kind of stuff that we're going to run into in the Dwemer Ruins. Can I still cast that... Uh, Night Eye? I kind of want to cast the Night Eye. There we go. Now I can see a little bit better. Now we just need to find ourselves a tube. And I'm not sure how how uh, deep I need to go for that. But I'm going to go as deep as it's necessary. Also, yep, there is actually nothing here right now. Though I did lose my, uh, my Night Eye again. I need to improve my illusion magic. Because I'm pretty sure Night Eye is illusion, yeah. So I might as well keep casting this a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Now we we can see a little bit better now. Because I'm pretty sure this place has more... More nasties. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was actually one of them. Or was it? Oh yeah, there is most definitely something. I think that's a uh, uh, centurion. Ah, crap. It seems to be struggling with me though. Ah, but it, it has stunned me. Okay, yeah, that was a Centurion's fear. Well, that wasn't too bad. Okay, where from? Where from next? Oh, it's a, it's a Centurion spider. That's not terrible. And I'm casting a little bit of magic here, even though I probably don't really need to. But it's uh, just to get my uh, destruction magic up. I can always rest and heal up and get myself more... Uh, more magic kind of stuff. And that's actually what I'm going to do, and I'm going to keep casting my Night Eye just to get my illusion magic up so that I can cast my Night Eye a little bit easier. Heavy Doomer... Okay, so there are a couple of Doomer coins. These are... they are fairly light. There's also some raw ebony. And a Doomer Pitcher, which also is valuable con considered what it is, but um, it's not valuable enough. Fire salts, very light, very, um, very uh, valuable. Raw glass, same thing. They also have like various kinds of effects if I were to use them in alchemy, but I don't really do alchemy that much. Okay. I hear more stuff, so I'm going to guess uh, we need to cast more spells. Don't see anything right now, but there is probably something behind there. I'm going to save once again. Saving is always good. But there is definitely something. Yeah, it's a spider. It's uh, it's struggling a little bit, but I can I can fairly easily destroy it from a distance with the shock ball. The shock ball is fairly effective, but it also is costly. It uses a lot of magicka. Or no, I die. Steel kegs, which have emerald and ebony. Ash salts, not that useful, but the diamond is. A very nice diamond. So let's try to avoid falling into the lava. Lava is not fun. Nobody likes lava. Another spider. Let's take care of it the same way we've taken care of the other ones. And we got ourselves a level up and um, this is now dead. Very good. Ah. Night eye. I need a better night eye, something that lasts a little bit longer. 
Okay, there's an Ornith Dwemer chest. Which is... Oh, there we go. We have rested, so uh, level 7. I'm definitely going to improve my strength because I need I need the carry capacity. And um, willpower probably is something I cannot add, or yeah I can still add stuff to my intelligence. Um, more health would be nice. Willpower is not necessarily the thing I need right now. Okay, but what do I what what well what I do need is uh, Lucy is. Uh, open door thing that actually didn't get us anything I'm going to guess that the tube is here then yep that's the door tube is there anything else here anything else that I might find useful doesn't look like it Sometimes I feel like torches might actually be the solution. There we go. Yeah, nothing on this surface here. Let's just quickly go through this place so that we have everything we might need. We had the woman ruins. That it's a good way to find more, uh, you know, valuables because they have they're full of raw glass, uh, uh, diamonds, etc. So these are generally very like good places for a little bit more, a uh, little bit more. Uh, you know, uh, if you need some money, then you can find some here. Um, but they are sometimes a little bit uh, dangerous too. So what is this thing? Did they actually have? Because this looks like. Um, a sort of uh, walker crossbow thing. I wonder if they actually had something like that. The Doomers are supposed to be like a... They are supposed... Oh, damn it. They are supposed to be... A race that had like super advanced technology that was then just simply lost because... Uh, because life is not fair. So we just rested outside in a thunderstorm and everything is fine. But yeah, anyway. Uh, what I'm going to do next is um, I'm gonna walk back to Genesis, I think, and then we're just going to go back to Aldrune, and from Aldrune, uh, we're well in Aldrune. I think I'm going to wrap things up for now because my voice is sort of starting to go a little bit. But yeah, we're going to we have the Dwarven tube, so we can uh, finish this quest and uh, then maybe get a new one. But yeah, for now, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to walk back to Nizis, and once I'm in Aldrune, I will catch up with you guys again. So see you guys then. Okay, there we go. Now we're back in Aldrune. It's a beautiful day, and um, we are going to give this um, Edwomer tube to Edwina. And uh, that takes care of our quests for today, I would say. We're going to get the next duty from Edwina though, just in case uh, we, you know, we want to take a look at what is going to come, come up next. Right now. Please go ahead. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Here's the Dwemer tube. So now I can finally study these Butorks the dwarves wrote about. I am uh, impressed by your dedication to scholarship. Good work. So what is going to be next in line for duties? Just wondering if you could check up on my colleagues in Dwemer Ruin, Nuklute, something, something. Last excavation report is longer overdue. One of my colleagues, Senilius Cadiusus, is engaged in an official imperial research in that place. He was supposed to give an excavation report every month, but has not sent one this month. Go there and find out what is going on. That, that is just fine. That we're going. That, that's something we're going to do next. So uh, I'll, I think that's um, that's here. Yes, that's here. So next time we are going to go from Balmora to this place. I think so. That's uh, fairly close to Miranda's here. So we are going to sort of loop around here. It's going to be a bit of a journey. 
but I'm pretty sure we can pull that off. Uh, for now though, I am going to leave things here, and um, yeah, next time we're going to go uh, like check out another Dwemer Ruin, I think. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, first of all, let's uh, let's save, let's save on top of this one, save game. And um, yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed, and uh, we will uh, see in uh, future videos, etc, etc. So, see you guys then.